I want to talk to you about something no one ever talks about in the schooly world. I want to talk to you about E-Track. 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 Welcome to the room. I can't help stop and stare. Show me what you got. I hope you came prepared right there. So do you know what E-Track is? It's okay to admit it if you don't. Most people don't. Usually it comes in long stretches of high strength steel with a whole bunch of different uh, attachment points. And then you get these different types of attachers to stick in there that make it so you can pretty much tie down anything. You see something similar called L-Track a lot of times. People will use it in their pickup truck to tie down their motorcycle or whatever, but L-Track's not as strong as E-Track, and this is what they use in the cargo industry, so I say skip that L-Crap and go straight to E-Track. Let's say you have to drive somewhere and you're still in the conversion stage and your furniture isn't really bolted in yet. E-Track, that's the way to go. That's how I drove across America. I drove across America with most of my furniture just ratcheted in on E-Track. Same with all my boxes. They were ratcheted with E-Track. So see, there are clips like this one that have webbing and then a D-ring. You can also get ones that are just a straight D-ring that attaches much closer to the wall. Here's one with a round attachment point. These are great for rope tie-downs and things like that. I've seen people use them in barns and actually use them to hitch a horse to. I don't know if I'd go that far. It seems a little risky, but maybe if you trust the horse, I don't know. I don't know that much about horses. These blank ones are cool because you can pretty much make whatever you need. I use them for curtain tie backs. But see, they also serve double duty because I can take the curtain tie out and attach a ratchet strap there if I need to strap a bunch of stuff down. Ratchet straps are the most common thing that I personally use with my E-Track. So now that's in there, super sturdy, super tight. And then you put the other end of the ratchet strap in on the other end and tighten it up and it holds anything. Besides the basic tie down thing, you can do a lot with them. They make a lot of different types of attachments. You can get a basket that attaches to E-Track or shelves, or they make these slots that you can put a two by four across and make, um, what do you call that thing? Uh, you know, when you're tra when you're transporting cargo and you have like a bar that goes across, I don't know, a bar thingy to hold the cargo in. So you can make your own bar thingy with these attachments they have that go on either side and then you just run a two by four across. One of the first things I did when I got the bus is I ran eight feet of E-Track down each wall. Once I started working on permanently bolting down my furniture, I realized that most of the E-Track was being wasted. It was mostly behind the furniture and you couldn't really access it to tie anything down with. It just wasn't quite serving the same purpose. I figured out a better solution though. I found these. These are single E-Tracks that you just attach anywhere you need one. So I've got them all over the place. That comes in handy when I go to do shows like Brimfield and other flea markets because I can really tie stuff down. I also sometimes just go on a big picking trip, pick up a bunch of furniture, and it's just so handy to be able to have some E-Track available to tie that stuff down. So what's the story on E-Track? Where do you get it? Who invented it? Glad you asked. Who invented E-Track? Okay, I'm gonna start first with the fact that the guy who invented the single pieces that I like so much is not the same guy who invented the whole system. And I know that because I found a patent for him on the US Patent Office website. And it had a neat little drawing that's exactly what I use. I'm reading this while I talk to you. An improved E-Track connector or lockdown is presented that can be installed in single locations instead of provided in tracks as in the industry. Hmm. The device also possesses a drain slot along the side of the tang and drain holes in the buckle receiver such that liquid will drain out of the connectors when it is mounted horizontally. I didn't even know all that. I didn't even know I had a tang and a drain hole and all that other stuff. It's more than I imagined, more than I dreamed of. So I found that about that guy, but I didn't find anything about the person that originally invented E-Track. I mean, the actual track, the real thing. Where did it come from? I guess it comes from heaven. Where can you get it though? Well, take a guess. Where can you get anything? Yep, Amazon. That's where I got mine. Both the long tracks and the single pieces, they got them on Amazon. And I think that guy's patent is up because I've got a couple different designs. They're not all the same as that one. They don't have the, you know, thing next to the tang and the whatever. E-Track is my tip of the day.
I don't leave home without it. Well, I couldn't leave home without it because this is home and it's all over the place. So the next time you see me, I'll be at Grimfield and you'll be wherever you are. But that doesn't stop us from getting together because I'm going to be doing live from Brimfield, same as I do every Tuesday night. Last Tuesday we had a blast. Somebody said it was like the old AOL chat rooms and... Yeah, it kind of was like the old AOL chat rooms, except I didn't have to be treated for PTSD afterwards. And it, then again, maybe I was in different chat rooms than you were. So come on in and play. You know, that sounds wrong too. Nothing dirty, I swear. Just come on in. Chat. We'll see you Tuesday. This is what I want. Exactly.